If you have a crush on someone or you're dating someone and you really want them to be more attracted to you, then you've got to watch this video because I'm going to share five psychologically based tips that will make you more attractive to the person you want. So don't go anywhere because we're starting in four seconds. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Antonio Borello. I'm a psychologist and relationship coach and I make weekly dating and relationship advice videos. This channel is all about helping you build great relationships so you can grow happy with the people you love. So if you're interested in making your love life the best part of your life, make sure that you subscribe and hit that bell notification as well so that you aren't missing any of our new videos. Okay, on to our topic, how to become more attractive to the person you want. Have you ever wondered why you chose your last boyfriend or girlfriend? I mean, what causes us to feel a special chemistry with one person but not another? And why do some people seem magnetically attracted to someone who is totally wrong for them but feel nothing for someone who their friends and family think is wonderful? Well, obviously we all have our own individual preferences, but there are also behaviors and interactions that are universally attractive. What does that mean? That means that there are things that anyone can do that makes them more attractive to anyone, provided that they're human. Yes, who we are attracted to and how we pick our partners has been studied by psychologists for a long time and has produced several interesting theories. And we can use these theories to help us become more attractive to the person we desire. In other words, there are things that you can do to increase the chances that the person you want becomes more attracted to you. And these are things that you should be doing in the beginning when you first meet or start dating someone. But there are also things that you can do to reignite or spark a long-term relationship. So without further ado, here are five tips to kickstart the attraction process. Number one, find reasons to be around them and interact with them. The first tip is based on the mere exposure phenomenon. And that is we become attracted to people who are familiar to us and we become attracted to people we have contact with. There are many studies demonstrating the mere exposure phenomenon. And that is the more exposure do you have to practically any stimulus, the more you will like it. Of course, that is only if your first impression was positive or neutral. I mean, if it was negative, then you probably like them less. That's because people develop a preference for things that they become familiar with. This phenomenon also applies to attraction towards people. The more often a person is seen by someone, the more pleasing that person seems. This familiarity principle was demonstrated in a 1992 university study where several women of similar levels of attractiveness attended a university class either 5 or 10 or 15 times during the semester. These women were instructed to play the role of a college student, but not to interact with the instructor or any of their peers. And at the end of the semester, students were given photos of the women and were asked how much they liked them. And as you'd expect, the women they had seen more often were better liked and rated as more attractive than the ones who had attended only a few classes. The more they were seen, the more attractive they appeared to fellow students. Also, we become attracted to people we have regular contact with. Regular contact is an important ingredient in romance, which is why most relationships develop between people who live, work, or go to school near each other. So, don't be aloof, evasive, or unavailable when you first meet a person you're interested in. Doing so could give them a negative first impression, and then repeated exposure will cause them to like you less and less. First impressions are very important, so be nice, attentive, and find opportunities to spend time with that person. Number two, smile. Smiling makes everyone look more attractive and approachable because it conveys expressions of joy and happiness. And when you're smiling in response to seeing someone, it makes them feel like you're smiling because of them. For example, let's say you're just walking into a gym and you see an attractive person running on the treadmill in the first row. You notice them, and they have an emotionless, they have a running face on. But as you walk by to go to the locker room, he looks at you and gives you a genuine smile. Now, assuming that he's not giving you a creepy grin, because that would just be wrong, but no, he gives you a genuine smile when he sees you. How do you feel? You feel like he's smiling at you and because of you. And that's an awesome feeling. And of course, there are many psychological studies that have confirmed the relationship between expressions of happiness and attraction. And simply put, one's level of attractiveness can be increased by the mere fact that they're expressing happiness. In fact, in a 2013 study, researchers explored how expressions of joy and happiness influence how people judge the level of attractiveness in another person. The study showed two images of the same person 
where the expression of happiness varied, and it was discovered that the images picked by participants as being the more attractive were those that reflected a higher expression of happiness. So when you are with the person you're crushing on, make sure that you give them a genuine smile when you see them. Number three, be an active listener. Active listening is when you fully commit to understanding what someone is expressing to you and you listen with intent and purpose and without any distractions or interruptions. And several psychological studies have shown that active listening is related to higher evaluations of social attractiveness. For example, in one study, participants who received active listening responses were more satisfied with their conversation and perceived the confederate to be more socially attractive than participants who received simple acknowledgements. So when you're talking to the guy that you like, you can boost and heighten your attraction levels by practicing active listening. Think about it. So many people today are totally preoccupied by their phones and social media and texts. Having a conversation with a person who is completely present and in the moment is highly attractive. Active listening involves the following steps. Number one, don't interrupt or judge the person who is talking. Number two, nod your head or give short verbal signs like yes or okay, and leaning in and showing that you acknowledge what the person is saying. And then paraphrase what they've said so that they know you've understood. And ask questions to signal that you've paid attention and that you're interested. Oh, and laugh at his jokes. Another thing that will make you more attractive to men is when you laugh at their jokes. This makes them feel better about themselves. Besides, it also shows that you're approachable and confident enough to appreciate a good sense of humor. Number four, the look of love. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul, but it turns out they're also the windows to the heart. There have been many studies on how nonverbal cues from the eyes affect our behavior towards one another. And when it comes to falling in love, how you communicate with your eyes can make all the difference in the world. That's because prolonged eye contact can cause two people to feel attraction towards one another. Some evidence? A study published by the Journal of Research and Personality had two opposite sex strangers gaze into each other's eyes for two minutes. They found that this was enough in some cases to produce passionate feelings for each other. So much so that one of the couples even got married a year later. Eye contact is a powerful stimulator of affection and specifically the neuromodulator phenylethylamine. PEA is a chemical causing to amphetamines and it's secreted by the nervous system when we first fall in love. It's what makes your palms sweat, your tummy flip over, and your heart race. The more PEA your person has pumping through their bloodstream, the more likely they are to be attracted to you and to fall in love with you. Well, you can't honestly force someone to adore you if they're not remotely interested. I mean, they won't even look into your eyes for that long for a start. It's entirely possible, though, to kickstart the production of PEA using this technique. Also, dim the lights. Why are candlelit dinners so romantic? First, softer lights make our faces look more attractive, and softer, dimmer lights make our pupils expand. And people are more attractive when their pupils are expanded. In fact, there have been several famous studies that showed this phenomenon. In one experiment, they took two pictures of the same woman and presented it to male subjects and asked them to describe the female in the picture. The researchers had artistically altered the photographs, manipulating the size of the woman's pupil to be either slightly larger or smaller than they were in their natural state. When the women had large pupils, she was said to be soft and more feminine and pretty, while when the very same woman had small pupils, the men described her as cold and hard and selfish. So yeah, men find women with bigger pupils to be more romantically appealing. Obviously, we can't dilate our pupils at will, but we can create the right conditions to make our pupils bigger. Our pupils expand when they are robbed of light, so dim the lights and hang out. Number five, ask him for small favors. People care more when they put more effort into their relationships. So if you want your guy to like you more and be more attracted to you, you have to let him invest in you. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about allowing him to help you with things like small favors or helping you complete a project at home, help with studying, things like that that take time and effort. The more he invests, the more he will like you as a result. I know it seems counterintuitive, but trust me, when he does something nice for you, he will be pleased with himself and feel extra warm towards you. Remember, we appreciate and value the things we work hard for, so let him work hard for it. Have I missed any good suggestions or tips for encouraging a guy to be more attracted to you? If so, I'd love to hear them. Leave a comment and let's start a discussion. 
That's it for this video. If you found it helpful, please take a moment and hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to continue seeing videos that will help you build great relationships so you can grow happy with the people you love, make sure that you subscribe and you hit that bell notification so that you aren't missing anything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.